Okay then guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the realistic texture pack. This is a 256 bit texture pack. So uh, like I say, the uh, level of detail is significantly high. Uh, we're actually going to get a core and take a quick look around of this because it's going to be quicker. Uh, we've got bump, map bump mapping on, uh, shadows are off, um, and um, like I say, it's a 256 bit. So we're we'll looking at the detail there. You can see this nice bump mapping now. Uh, nice glowing coming off the uh, lava at the front. Uh, I'm just going to come through to this front here and show a bit more lighting. It's quite subtle, but as you can see, the uh, hardened hull textures are split into this kind of grid. So it um, gives a nice impression. There's just more, there's just more there. So I'm going to say we're going to come in now and go straight down to the uh, fans and take core all the way down. So, yeah, here is the front of the ship. As you can see, if you've uh, seen the previous texture pack review, you'll be able to use this as a comparison because it's going to use the same ship, the same settings, just different texture pack. So, this one is also another one that comes with the uh, game. You find it in the launcher, created by Kupu. And uh, this one is called uh, Realistic, like I say. And for this video, we're going to be using 256. So, we're going to come downstairs, check out the engine room. Very nice. And then straight down the discussion area, past the newsroom, and to the hold, which is located under the, in the very in the belly of the news show three. And now we can take a little look see. So on the left hand side we've got the uh, hardened hull colours and in all the different wedges there as you can see. Uh, still a little bit of a twist going on with the uh, with the Pentas and the Tetras. We are aware of that. So, uh, like I say, it's all subject to change. Uh, it's more to do with the way it's done. So, but anyway, here are the uh, Plex lights, Plex beacon, hanging lights, thrusters, uh, the uh, cloaker, and the jammer. Uh, the, these are the power supply and power drain beams. As you can see with the 256 texture pack, You've got a lot more room to put things like this in with all the extra detail. So it's not just a plus and a minus like in the last one we looked at. It's actually written there, which is very nice. Got the ice, a few more terrain blocks, and uh, like I say, we've already looked at the shields. Oh God! Uh, I think we've taken some damage. <laughs> yeah, we we had a slight malfunction. Don't worry about the explosion. It'll be fixed later. Okay. Yeah. Um, I. I think, I'm not sure, but it looks like the ice just went critical and burned a hole through my uh, texture pack review area, but we're going to ignore that and move on. So anyway, moving straight... There's the damage! Yeah, it's... Uh, nothing to see over nothing here. Nothing to see here. Okay, so oh, basically... We, we have a hole, but... Yeah, please I'll don't... It. Yeah, please don't fall out, though. <laughs> please put your helmet on. Uh, come back up. So then moving back, we've got some more terrain elements, lovely bump mapping on these terrain elements. Um, we really get the impression that the textures are actually, like I say, textured. Uh, as you're moving around, you can really see that roughness to the terrain. Same with the leaves as well, they really do have that three-dimensional look, as in not just square, you know, flat, they have a nice texture to them. And then moving over so here... What's up, Whoa, what's up? Hello. Hello guys. Hello. Um, and so basically just moving over here, we've got a bunch of ship systems running along the entire length here. Um, and you can see all the different ones. This one's an AMC. See? It's set an AMC on it. It's pretty cool. Um, and then moving back, SVG salvage. It's pretty sweet. Look at this one. What, what, what could this one be? That's a cockpit unit. I tell that much. How about this? I'm trying to see if you can tell from just looking at them all. Something written on this one? It looks like a missile. It does look uh, like a missile. I reckon it's a D1000. Oh no, BB. That's a BB missile. Can't okay. tell. Because I'm in a core at the moment. But anyway. <laughs> right. So, moving back. We've got the normal hulls. And then we'll come up here. We'll see some grass. Some rock on grass. And then we get to see some actual grass. Because everyone loves grass. Who does it? And then we get to see the newsroom, because the newsroom is fun. 
apparently. Oh god, it won't let me in the sports room. But trust me guys, it's there. You also get to see the doors. Ah, oh, nice one guys, very well done. Take your positions, sportscasters. So yeah, that's actually pretty well done. Yeah, sweet, well done guys. <laughs> On point. There's another one through here if you want to do the honors. Well done. Sure, why not? Ah, cheers guys. And our character models look awesome. Look at that, yeah, the character model is pretty sweet now. I'm not gonna lie. I think people jump around. Oh, beautiful. Well, hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And that's basically how we do the news every week. Well, we have, we'll be doing the news every week. <laughs> it's not every week, but it's still there. I think the last show was a monthly highlight, and highlight means an hour long. <laughs> so, this is obviously our discussion area, which is pretty nice. And we've already seen everything now, so I'm just going to pull outside and get on to the next texture pack, which is going to be the cartoonish texture pack. And that is another one that comes with the game. So thanks for watching this texture pack review, and I will see you in the next one.